YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video guys. I'm really excited to kind of double back and talk about this. Um, I want to have a discussion with you guys about micro LED technology. Just my experience at CES, I was able to see the phenomenal looking uh, transparent options. I didn't make any direct content on that, but I was in the mix of it at CES. And um, this video is honestly just kind of a follow up video to the one that I did post um, yesterday from the date that this is uploaded. So whenever you see this, the day prior, I posted a video showing four different sizes. I'm not aware of the models because, you know, Samsung had these models just kind of on lock where you couldn't really tell what the model was. But they have four different sizes of these micro LED TVs. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I'm not really into the the concept technology portion of like televisions and monitors and things like that. I like to deal with what I can actually buy or what's what's realistic to us, what's available to us. OK, and so I've had a many of different subscribers or viewers, you know, people that have come by the channel um, to talk about this technology. But me actually seeing it. You know, I made the video and I spoke really high of it, but I just I just got to really tell you exactly, you know, what my truth is with it. All right. So I walk into this area because I did a live that was like an hour and 40 minutes doing the entire Samsung keynote. And then it kind of transitioned to me just walking through the entire showroom that they had set up for the preview night for the uh, press, myself included. And, you know. I just loved a lot of what I've seen. I didn't pay much attention to the appliances and that type of stuff. I was more into the gaming, uh, into the, uh, the, 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 the QD OLED, the smaller white OLEDs and so forth. But I go into this area where they have the micro LEDs and I am just blown away. Now, the importance of me talking about this, let me just talk about my pedigree with TVs, okay? I'm currently an owner of uh, the Sony, which is a masterful TV, A95L. I have the A95K. Um, a lot of you are going to know what my lineup is. I've got the S95C, the S90C, the G2. Um, I've got a couple of S95Bs. I've got a couple of C2s in my collection. And uh, there's some older LED TVs as well as some flagship monitors, uh, uh, Samsung Neo G8. Right, I have that monitor. Um, we've got a couple of the MLA 45-inch um, OLED uh, monitors. Uh, seeing this thing is unlike anything that I've ever seen. Right, I mean, just that's the most honest that I can be with it. You know, first of all, I couldn't understand exactly what the technology was at first. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I said, I don't invest a lot of time into the stuff that isn't accessible for consumers. I am a consumer first. Before I'm attempting to be a journalist, I'm a consumer, I'm a customer. I'm a customer that prides himself on spending my money on the goods. Looking at stuff that on paper appears to be too good to be true, that I know I can't buy, and even if I could buy, I know I can't afford it because I'm definitely not rich. Um, you know, I just don't care. But putting myself in the mix of this this uh, this wonderful event, CES 24, as a media coverage, you know, I just see these TVs, panels, whatever they call them, and I'm just like, what the? Number one, they're large as hell. That's number one. Number two, they're so bright. I mean, and when I say bright, I mean purposefully bright. I'm talking about demonstrations that we've clearly seen. They're running demos that you see on the frame. They're running demos that you see on like the QD OLEDs or the AK OLEDs. And the brightness is just so freaking purposeful, right? As the sizes get larger, um, you know, if you haven't seen the video, check it out. It's a really quick video, just to the point, no fluff, just gets you right to seeing what the four models were. And that was just kind of that. As you just go up to larger size, you know, all the way up to 140 inch, I am struggling personally as a person that for the first time, for the first time that's seeing this, I'm sure someone more experienced with looking at this concept of technology is probably going to know there's the scene, here's the scene, here's the scene. 
guys, I couldn't detect the seam. I could not. I'm looking at these things, and all I'm thinking to myself is, man, listen, this thing is super bright, and I'm talking about in everywhere that it needs to be. When it's black, the only type of you know, lighting that I'm seeing bleeding onto the screen is not coming from the internal. It's coming from external, right? So what do I mean? I mean, you got the first panel that I start recording is right here. The second panel is right here. Now, as I'm or, or it's right here. As I'm recording this panel and I see black scenes, the only type of light that I'm seeing is the reflection of the light being bounced off from the TV that's you're not seeing on the screen just absolutely amazing right so it's 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 kind of like how you look at the um s95d and i did a i did an explained video of this s95d versus the s95c you look at the s95d and it looks like you're seeing some blooming until you just notice that all it is is just the light is bouncing off of the screen because the way that they have that demo set up was you had artificial light from a window that was like a fake window and it was gleaming onto the s95d i digress this isn't about that tv it was the same exact thing that i was seeing on this and when i seen black black looked black it was like i struggled to see any type of bleeding getting close on it it was just amazing guys so what i'm trying to say is that i'm super excited for what the future holds right um, and so this piggybacks me to another discussion that I don't want to derail the bullet points here, you know, with like Sony investing into whatever, you know, their flagship mini LED is going to be, you know, how far can that technology be taken where we can get the purposeful brightness because I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to, I'm starting to understand we want super purposeful brightness, but we want black level control guys. Those micro LEDs were just amazing. So if you just wanted to hear some truth, uh, explain to a person that's seen it for the first time, that is, um, I guess I would consider myself to be enthusiast with OLEDs. Guys, just unlike anything I've ever seen, unlike anything I've ever seen, colors were spot on, colors were bright. Brightness was purposeful. Um, blacks were just really good. I could not detect any noticeable uh, you know blooming moments right and obviously things everything was on vivid and typically that's where you're going to see the most blooming from a samsung if they have it set on vivid you're going to see that light bleeding off of the white going to black and it was just amazing really really nice stuff so hopeful for the future hopefully this video just kind of gives you a little bit of a, a taste to what i experienced seeing those displays at ces and again if you haven't seen the video i'll card it in right now this is all I got. I just wanted to make this direct to this and to the point. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace, God bless, and as I always say, Max Love, we out.